BSc first year students, good morning. Today we all are here to study about the respiration in UNIO. Okay, so let us see a slight body structure of the UNIO first. We have already started the morphology, external morphology of UNIO, and I hope you do have a slight memory about it. So in the dia diagram here, you in the diagram here we see the presence of foot on the posterior part of the body and in the anterior portion of the body we see the presence of the different organs which are concerned with the respiratory system of UNIO. Okay. So here let us see here. Uh, here we have the presence of infrabranchial chamber this one. Okay. And then we have the presence of suprabranchial chamber. In between this suprabranchial chamber and infrabranchial chamber, there are presence of innumerable number of box-like structures known as water chambers. And in every water chambers, you can see innumerable number of pores. These pores are known as ostia. And at the tip of the anterior region, you see there is the presence of excurrent siphon and Incurrent siphon. Now, what is the role of this excurrent siphon and incurrent siphon? Why are these siphon known as excurrent and incurrent? On what basis? So, these incurrent siphon through this siphon, there is an entry of oxygenated water inside the body of UNIO. So, it is known as incurrent siphon. Likewise, from this excurrent siphon, there is a release of excretory product produced inside the body of UNIO. So it is known as excurrent siphon. So as far as it is concerned about the respiration of UNIO, what happens? First of all, the water enters through the incurrent siphon. Okay. From the incurrent siphon, as the water enters, it comes inside the body cavity and slowly through the ostia, the water enters into the water chamber. Water enters inside the water chamber. Now, in this diagram, you can see many elongated linear structures. These linear structures, they are known as gills. Okay, these are known as gills or let us say tendia. So, these gills, they are supplied with the blood vessels. Okay. Inside the blood vessels, there is a presence of blood. So what happens as the water comes inside the water chamber, there is a gaseous exchange in between the oxygenated water and these gills, the linear structures, what are known as gills. So the oxygen from the water is absorbed by these gills. Okay. And from the gills, the carbon dioxide is released back into the water. Okay, now this water containing carbon dioxide finally comes into the suprabranchial chamber. These ostia, they are internally connected with the suprabranchial chamber. And through these ostia, uh, ostia, the water containing carbon dioxide comes into the suprabranchial chamber. This suprabranchial chamber is also internally connected with the cloaca or let us say the cloacal opening also opens into the suprabranchial chamber. Now, during the process of digestion, uh, whatever undigested food materials are formed uh, or let us say deposited or formed inside the body of the union, they get finally deposited into the cloaca that opens into the suprabranchial chamber. So those undigested particles or let's say those waste product also come into the suprabranchial chamber along with the deoxygenated water or along with the water containing carbon dioxide. And from suprabranchial chamber, finally the excretory product is ejected out of the body through this X current siphon. So this is how we see the process of respiration is completed in UNIO. Now let's see some more detailed structure of these respiratory organs of UNIO. So here in this diagram, we see the presence of the TS of the gills. Okay. 
So we see there is a pair of gills or let's say two gills or two tenidium present on the either side of the rod. The outer gill, it is known as outer lamella and the inner one, it is known as inner lamella. On this side also, there is a presence of inner lamella and this is known as outer lamella. Means on the either side of the body of the union, we can find one pair of tenidium or gill which lies adjacent to this rod or by the side of this rod. Well, we have talked in the first slide about the water chamber, right? But there in the water chamber, we could not see such structures. So if you see the diagram of the first slide in a detail, what we come to see is that um, just outside to these water chambers, one, two, three, and many more are there. This water chamber, it is surrounded from both sides by outer lamella and inner lamella. This as a whole is known as outer lamella that is made up of innumerable number of filaments. These are known as filaments, one, two, three, four, likewise and so on. They are known as filaments. And on the other side also it is having the inner filament. So what we finally see the water chamber is having outer uh, lamella or uh, yeah, outer lamella and inner lamella on its both side. So each lamella it is containing an innumerable number of filament. If you see a detailed structure of each of this filament or let's say we want to see the detailed structure of one of this filament if you see the structure seems to be like this. These structure, what is known as cilia, you can see here, known as ciliated cell. Just below this, we have non-ciliated cell. And just below this, we have glandular cell, okay? And within this portion, we have connective tissue containing a pair of chitin. So this is the detailed structure of each of this filament. Every filament is having all these parts. Now, what we see each of this filament is having ciliated cell. What is the need of this? Hmm? What is the need of this ciliated cell? So these cilia actually they they prefer to uh, create a kind of motion, a movement due to which a pressure is created and due to that the water from the uh, siphon, in current siphon enters inside the body of the union. And due to this, the entry of water or let's say that the uh, um, resting of water is possible inside the water chamber present inside the body of the UNIO. So hope you must have got the concept of the respiration in UNIO. If you like the video, please like it, share it and comment this video. Thank you.